strong. Why Venezuela is poor. Hi Leah, how are you doing today? Hi Alex, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm good, thanks. I was wondering if you have any idea why Venezuela is considered a poor country. Yes, there are a few reasons for that. One of the main reasons is the country's overdependence on oil. I see. Can you elaborate on that? Sure. Venezuela's economy is heavily reliant on oil exports, which means that the country's fortunes are closely tied to global oil prices. When oil prices are low, Venezuela's economy suffers. That makes sense. What else contributes to the country's poverty? Another factor is corruption. Venezuela has a long history of corruption, and it's a major problem in the country. Corruption has led to mismanagement of public funds and resources, which has contributed to the country's economic woes. That's unfortunate. Are there any other reasons why Venezuela is poor? Yes, there are a few other factors as well. One of them is the government's economic policies. The government has implemented policies that are not business-friendly, which has discouraged foreign investment and made it difficult for businesses to thrive. I see. So, the government's policies are actually hurting the economy? Yes, that's right. In addition to that, the country has been affected by political instability and social unrest, which has further hurt the economy. I understand. It seems like there are a lot of factors that contribute to the country's poverty. Is there anything that can be done to improve the situation? Yes, there are a few things that can be done. The government could implement more business-friendly policies to attract foreign investment and promote economic growth. In addition to that, the country could diversify its economy away from oil, so it's not so heavily dependent on that one commodity. Those are good ideas. Is there anything that individuals can do to help? Yes, individuals can help by supporting businesses that are trying to make a difference in the country. For example, there are some companies that are focused on social and environmental issues, and by supporting them, individuals can help promote positive change in the country. That's a good point. It seems like there are a lot of different ways that people can make a difference. Yes, that's true. It's important to remember that change won't happen overnight, but with sustained effort and dedication, it is possible to make a difference. I agree. It's good to know that there are things that can be done to help improve the situation in Venezuela. Definitely. It's a complex issue, but by working together and taking action, we can help create a brighter future for the country. Thank you for the informative conversation, Leah. It was great talking to you. You're welcome, Alex. It was great talking to you too. Before we end our conversation, I have one more question. How has the poverty in Venezuela affected the people living there? The poverty in Venezuela has had a profound impact on the lives of the people living there. Many people struggle to make ends meet and access basic necessities like food and medicine. In addition, the country's political and economic instability has created a sense of uncertainty and fear among the population. That's really sad to hear. Is there anything that people outside of Venezuela can do to help those who are suffering? Yes, there are many organizations and charities that are focused on providing aid to the people of Venezuela. By donating to these organizations or volunteering your time, you can help make a difference in the lives of those who are struggling. That's a good idea. Can you recommend any specific organizations that are doing good work in Venezuela? Sure, there are several organizations that I would recommend. One of them is Caritas Venezuela, which provides food and medical assistance to those in need. Another one is Provia, which is focused on defending human rights in the country. Those sound like great organizations. 
I'll definitely look into them. Thank you for sharing that information, Leah. You're welcome, Alex. I'm glad I could help. It's really eye-opening to learn about the struggles that people in Venezuela are facing. I hope that things improve for them soon. Yes, it's a difficult situation, but by raising awareness and taking action, we can help make a difference. I completely agree. Thank you again for the great conversation, Leah. You're welcome, Alex. It was my pleasure. Thank you.